All right, y'all, this is Rick with Get Out and Fish, and as you can see, we are at the beautiful Lake Mead, and uh, I'm here, I'm going to do a redemption to my last video for the how to catch crappie at Lake Mead. I had some uh, camera issues, and I, there was a whole lot I didn't explain, and there's a lot of questions that were left unanswered from that video, so I'm going to try and fix those today. Um, as you can see, I'm at Echo Bay. This is Easter Sunday. I was hoping it'd be a lot less people, but it's just as just as much as I would usually see at this time of day. But uh, let me finish up getting this boat ready. We're gonna launch here, and usually I head north because I know how to get, I know where to find them out there. I'm gonna head south where I've never gone, and I'm gonna show y'all what I do to find them in somewhere I've never been before. All right, catch y'all later. Alright y'all, this is the first cove I found. Uh, I've never been over here, this is gorgeous. Uh, south side, south of Echo Bay. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to change anything up. I'm going to use the same setup I had in the uh, last video. And I'm just going to work this cove for a few minutes. If I don't get nothing, guess what? There's plenty of coves to work. But uh, we'll just uh, have to see what happens on here. Water temperature is 60, 60 degrees on top. Seeing some stuff on the screen. I don't know what it is, but usually when I'm catching these crappie, I don't see anything on the screen. I just, I'm looking for spots I like because they're up so, up against it so much that they're not even, they're not even registering on the, on the fish finder. But let me get my boat situated and uh, start making some casts. Had a follower. Just came up looking at it. And it was a little crappie. I saw him. Wow, that was the most unaggressive I've ever seen. They're in here. That was a little black crappie. Came up right behind him. It felt him even, he even thumped it. Guess I'll just work it even slower. Oop, there's another one. All right, y'all. They're in here. Might I might be I might be working it just too fast. I don't know. I've never seen them uh, nip at it before. There's one. Ooh. First cove. Not very many casts. Let's give it another shot. I might l make us get a smaller uh, plastic on there. If I get another one that comes up and grabs it and misses it, I'm gonna put a smaller jig on there. See these rocks? I'm just casting right up to those rocks and just letting it fall back to me. I'm mainly just trying to reel in slack. Some of these might have already been caught and then uh, 
They're a little skittish. They're turned loose. So, just gotta keep keep fishing around and looking for them. But, that is a good start to the day. There's one. All right, didn't even feel it. If I'd been reeling any slower, look at that. First 20 minutes, got a crappie on. And that is a humdinger. Jeez, I might reconsider keeping them today. Let me catch a few first, but yeah. I have never been to this cove. I found the very first cove I could go back deep into and I just started casting. I had two misses already. I saw one chase it all the way up to the boat. So let's, uh, let's go, let's get this going. This anyone can do, I think uh, we, we all t tend to make it out too hard. And uh, I mean, I'm no different. I just kind of started doing this and I'm from Oklahoma. So crappie's just a, a way of life. So I had to find them. But there you go. New spot. Never been here before. I never go south of Echo. And uh, I just know what I'm looking for. I want these, I want stuff that's kind of like rocky, vertical. Uh, we're in 13 foot of water. This is what, this is what they look for at Lake Mead to spawn. So I think what was that was my fifth or sixth cast. Uh, but yeah, let's go get them. I'm just gonna work this cove really good and we're gonna go find some more spots. And you really gotta be on alert because I, if, if I had been a, a novice fisherman or a brand new guy to this, I would not have known to set that hook. Uh, the only reason I knew he was there is because he had it in his mouth and he turned the other way. Usually I can feel a little thump, but that was super light. You get up against these rocks over here. There we go. There he is. Got him. That was a nice little crappie thump right there. I'm telling you guys, if you got a boat, get out here, get some small little jigs. It don't, you don't have to buy my jigs. Any small little uh, jig with a lead head on it will work. But if you want some of mine, I can, I can get you what I'm using right now. This is my Neutrino with a little flake in it. And uh, this is a male. You can tell when they're good and dark like that. Oh God, look how pretty that is. When they're dark like that, you can tell they're males and they get darker whenever they're ready to spawn. So he's a spawning male. Or he's either spawning, got about to spawn or he has already spawned. That first fish was a female. You can tell because it was a nice lighter color and she was a little bigger. Back home in Oklahoma, whenever they get dark like that, we, we say they, they got their tuxedos on. <laughs> They're going out looking for a for a date. Nice. Two in the first like half hour. Like that hasn't even been a half hour yet. I spent longer uh driving from the from the boat launch to get here than I did to catch fish. So that's two. I don't want to work these fish over too much because I know how pressured they are right now. Because they're spawning. So I'll catch a few here. And I might, I'm going to try and find some more spots. But see, this is no weird cove. You can see the main lake out there. I mean, this is just get out here and just use... There's one. I, I just let it fall. Here, look. Look at that. That's a little That's a little bass, I think. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. I'm stupid. It's a little bit... Oh, yeah. That's definitely a spawning male right there. I wasn't even... I was just turning around showing you guys. I was just letting the lure fall. Oop, almost got a hook in me. But, uh, yeah, little bitty guy. Look how pretty those colors are. You can see that, that teal blue up there? God, they're so pretty. All right, go make some more crappies. Yeah, I, I'm going to end up keeping a couple, I think. But I want to find some coves. I don't want them sitting in the, in the uh, live well all day. But back to what I was saying, is you can see the main lake out that way. Uh, Echo Bay is just a little further to the right, um, and I didn't I didn't like look at this on Google Maps or anything. I just kind of like I went straight to a cove I could go back for the furthest back. I want to go back 
in the back of a cove. I want to find a cove that lets you go further back. And I know the water's going down and it's harder, but I mean, I didn't try very hard at all to find the spot. And just a little jig, and people think you have to use those little one inch, those little bitty, bitty things. This is a two and a half inch bait that I make. And like I said, any little small little plastic, I don't, I'm not really concerned with the color. That's almost clear. Uh, when the sunlight hits it, it'll get a little, a little better, but I mean, any little plastic you can get a jig, get like, this is a one eighth ounce jig head. There's no rhyme or reason why it's pink. I just grabbed it out of my tackle box, but what you're just trying to do is get it in front of their face. They're either hungry or they're defending their, uh, their little area that they've decided to spawn in. Oh man, get the kids out on the boat and do this with some, some little plastics. And you can use little kitty poles. Like this is a, this is an ultralight Shimano thing. I saw, I found on sale at Sportman's and, uh, this is a medium light, fast action. And, uh, you have to have, and I'm using four pound line. I mark all my poles with these little stickers. So I know what's on there. Four pound fluoro. You don't have to use fluoro. I just, that was just what I had on hand for four pound the crappie are not line shy in the slightest they're not like striper in fact a lot of a lot of professional uh, crappie fishermen use those those green green visible line high, uh, high vis line so they can see when the, the, when they make those little crappie thumps sometimes you can't feel it but you can see it in the line so they want that high vis line it doesn't bother the crappie now, most of those guys that fish professional crappie tournaments aren't fishing in this clear water, so that might have a bit of a difference, but just find some four pound line. I don't think it'll make a big difference. I'm using fluoro. If you want fluoro, get fluoro. But uh, I'll tell you what, you get out and find one of these coves, get you some, any kind of plat, small little plastic jig or whatever, something that'll, something that can, if I can get this on camera. You can use bigger. I'll pull out my, uh, I have a three and a half inch that I caught them on last year. I mean, people, I'll catch them on that just as easy. But you just, you want any kind of little plastic that swims like that. See how the gravity is pulling it? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's hard to do this with the GoPro. You'll see that little jig? You see it swimming? Just get something like that. Get out here and uh, catch your limit. Let some go. I mean, you can come out here and really put a hurting on these fish. I'm, uh, I'm not one to tell people what to do, really. I have my opinions. People ask, I tell them, but this is my YouTube channel, so I'll just say it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I don't like, I don't, I'll probably never take a limit home. That's me personally. I have, I, the way I see it is if you bought a fishing license and you're following all the rules, uh, more power to you. Do your thing. But that's plenty of, uh, you can keep 15 crappie here. That is plenty. And then you can always, I mean, I like to let them go because I want to come back out and catch more. It gives me a reason to go get more. I love, I just love fishing. So I have no problem just coming out here. It's been a while since I've got a bite or anything. I'm going to work it a little slower. So yeah, April time, late March, all through April and maybe even early May, um, get in the back of these coves and look for them. Uh, I was up until a few weeks ago looking for only stained water because I'm from Oklahoma. That's what I'm used to uh, catching them in. But this water is just as clear as uh, any other part of the lake. And it's not as shallow as that first, the place I fished in the last video. This is, I mean, my boat's sitting in 14 foot. I'm casting to the to that little cliff and letting it fall back. Let's see if we can't find some more. I need to start getting some pictures. I'm getting excited. Forgetting to do my my Facebook thing and taking pictures. See that little thing sticking out right there? I want to work that all the way around it. I I just that's what you call, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what you call structure. 
crappie are all about structure and cover. There's just not a lot of cover out here. Not like in the typical sense, like docks and... You, know, there's tree, you can find trees sticking out, but most of the ones I, I know of are 20 feet out of the water at Lake Mead because the water's so low. Now, earlier, whenever that, that first one I didn't catch... He followed my lure up to the boat. I've never seen a crappie do that before. Probably because I've always had water that was so stained. Oklahoma water is not the, not known for clear. There he is. There's one. Good one. God, I just love this so much. And there's another one with it. There's another one. There's, there's a follower. I've never seen that crappie before. All right, y'all. Boat flip. Well, I'm getting a lot. I got that one female, and this is four males now. All right. Get the phone out and take a picture. I'll spot lock it so I don't run into the shore. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to work that structure over there. And, uh, yeah, worked out. Give everyone a little hint. <laughs> Alright, buddy. I'm not going to keep any in this cove. I'm going to find another cove and try and catch them. And keep a, I'll keep like three. Because I'm just going to eat them for tonight. Let's see what's back here. Let that fall back towards me. Yeah, if you're not on your game... Oh, there's one. Oh. If you're not on your game, you can miss some of these bites. They're so subtle. And then every now and again, you'll get a... There's one. You'll get a big... That's two casts in a row, y'all. You'll get a big old... Uh, bat. You'll think it's a bass. Oof. Look at that one. That's a nice one. Well, I would say so far this video is a success. That is a nice... I think that's a female... That is a nice big girl, and I'm going to let her go because she's just too pretty, and look how big she is. God, they're so pretty. I miss catching these back home. back down there keep getting big quit falling for these for these lures all right let's see if we can't make it three casts in a row y'all see those rock right here i look like watch this i want to just let it thump against the side of it and then fall in the wall well i messed up that cast just let it fall Yeah, there's three in a row, three casts in a row, baby. There we go. Oh, that's a bass. <laughs> Every now and again, you get one of those. And I'll tell you what, even a small bass is a blast on this light, super light tackle. I have to let him wear out. He's a, he's a spunky little guy. That is the consequence of crappie fishing with these little jigs. You'll catch a, you'll pick off a little uh, uh, sm small mouth or large mouth every now and again, and uh, that's a good problem to have. Beautiful, beautiful bass. But I I'll say that he broke my crappie streak, but I still got three fish in a row. I'm out about he about wore out that that jig. Man, I've never... Get out of there. What's going on? All right. Bye, buddy. Yeah. That is a fun problem to have, is whenever... Yeah, he destroyed this. This little jig. All right, let's go, get, let's go try another color or something.
All right, y'all, new cove. Still trying stuff out, but this is uh, this is what fishing is. Going to different coves and fishing and failing and then finding other coves and catching fish. Let's go see if we can't find any more. Oh, I like what I see right here. I'm gonna have to turn this motor off. And I'll lift it up over here. Oh yeah, I like that little ledge coming out. I like that. There's another little island right there. There could be holding crappie. Who knows? See how, see how uh, deep it is. All right, let me get me a fishing pole. We'll give her a shot. I'm gonna cast up against all this rock all the way to the back. I might skip a few and just go right to the back. Because I know that's a good thing. But let's see, I like this rock right here. We're in 24 foot. I'll make up my way a little closer and I'm going to start working all this. And y'all got to be careful out here. I ran, I was, looked like open water. I almost hit a whole island that was like a foot underwater. If uh, I hadn't stopped for uh, a different reason to catch my tackle box. This would be a whole different kind of video. <laughs> the, this water loss here at Mead is really something you guys need to be safe. You can't just run up and down everywhere like we could when we knew where everything was. There's new, there's new stuff to be looking for. Anyway, time to catch some crappie. I'm, it's been about an hour since I've caught a fish, and I'm kind of getting kind of antsy. We're in about 12 foot right here, right below us. Cast to these. Yeah, right there. Should be a crappie right there. What you think? There we go. Got him. I don't think this is a crappie though. The head shakes feel like a bass. Yep, that is a little bit, a bit better of a bass than I caught earlier. Oh yeah. Oh, I think it's a smolly. That's why it feels bigger. That's a pretty nice little smolly. All right, well. The, those are welcome too. Woo, pretty. I love catching smallies. And that is a just a gorgeous one. Woo, so strong. I haven't got a smallie since last year. Like this time last year, man, you got it stuck way up in, just like that large mouth, you got it right up in the roof of your mouth and I can't get it out. There we go. Whew, God, these are beautiful fish. I've never seen that before. The black little spots on there. Purdy. All right. That was what, second cast? Oh, I wish that was a crappie. That would have been a nice crappie. Yeah, I'll never, I'll never complain about catching a smallmouth. And again, that bass tore this. I might be able to... No. Probably get a couple more casts out of it. Those bass will tear these little, these little swim baits up. Got something. Looking like a crappie. See? This is uh, about my third or fourth cove. And there's one right right in here. Oh man, look how deep she got. This is a big female. Look how deep she got it. 
She, I, I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. She got, she wanted that. Ugh, I need to get my pliers. Darn it. She might just be one that I keep because I'm. I'm afraid for her health at this point. I'm gonna spot walk it. Please let me get my pliers now. Where did I put them? Yeah, I think I might keep her. Well, she looks pretty good. I didn't mess her up too much. All right, girl, get you get back in there. Keep an eye on her. All right. And I spot locked it in a nice little spot here. Can I still see her? No. All right, she swam away. It looked a lot worse than it did than it than it was when I pulled out that hook, but all right, y'all see that spot? Did that look like a crappie spot? Not really, but look at all this rock and all this sh the shade. I noticed the shade has been a a big uh, player today, so maybe that has something to do with it. I'm learning too, y'all. So I have I've caught just a handful of crappies out here at Lake Mead. All right, y'all. Still in that cove across from uh, Echo Bay, and I'm just uh, casting around. Fishing where I have confidence, fishing where I don't have confidence, because it's been a mixed bag today, so. Let's let this guy fall right back to the boat. Right off this wall here looks like a really good place for some crappie. Or some anything, actually. There's one. Oh, man. Came in again. There he is. Got him. Well, that was quick. A little female. How I don't know why I'm missing so many. That was like four hits on one. <laughs> one uh, cast. All right, honey, hold on. Y'all getting right in the top of the mouth, and it's a pain to get it out today. There we go. Got it out, got it out. All right, girl, we'll get you back in. Isn't she pretty? All right. Mwah. Blah, blah, blah. Gotta get some crappie, crappie on your lips. Blah, blah, blah. All right, see if we can't find another one. All right, y'all. Um, sitting here editing my video for from the other day. About to post it later tonight, hopefully, if I can get it done. But uh, two videos ago, I uh, said I'd pick a winner from the comments of my YouTube. 
to win that bag of shads that I made. Um, let's see. Here. And. Hey y'all, this is Rick with Get Out and Fish. And it's yeah, time. pause that. I only got a few comments, but it's been it's time to uh, draw a winner. So I'm just going to copy the link. I've never done this before, so bear with me. Copied. And I think you just do that. Continue. It says pick a winner. <laughs> Santos, of course. Gabe, you're probably going to get a pack of those anyway. But, uh, Mr. Gabriel Santos, you know who you are. Uh, just hit me up on, uh, face on one of the Facebooks or some way, and I'll get those out to you, bud. All right, congrats. Uh, I plan on doing a lot more giveaways, so please like and subscribe my channel. Hey y'all, this is Rick from Get Out and Fish. Um, I'm sitting here editing my video that you just watched. And uh, as most you new YouTubers do, I forgot to record an outro. So uh, it's a long one. And if you stuck all the way through it, you got to see uh, the winner for the contest. Congrats, Mr. Santos. And uh, just thank you for watching it all the way through if you did. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, Please subscribe, like the video, and uh, share it if you have time. Uh, I would really appreciate it. It goes a long way with helping me out. Um, other than that, just get out there on the water and catch some crappie. Uh, if you can avoid the wind, they'll still be biting for another couple weeks. So get out there and have some fun. Uh, you can, If you like the lure I was using in my video, you can check out my website. I'll have it in the comments down below. Uh, or just go out and find Walmart, get some plastics. Get out there and uh, fish some coves. All right, y'all. I appreciate it.